The following news clip will show why some in our community have taken to filming following government paid school bus drivers while our children are on their buses and in their care. Their children on a bus. Castle Rock, where school bus driver is facing 30 counts of misdemeanor child abuse charges. He is accused of slamming on the bus brakes and sending students into the backs of the seats in front of them last month. Connor McHugh covers Douglas County for us and spoke to the mother of one of those students. On March 1st, bus route 207 was far from normal for students at Castle Rock Elementary, starting with these stern words from the man behind the wheel. You guys need to be in your seat. Minutes later, video from inside shows substitute driver Brian Fitzgerald take it a step further. You guys want to see how dangerous that is? Escalating words from action at nine miles per hour. Do you get that? That's why you need to be in your seat. Oh my God! The kids, ranging from kindergarten to sixth grade, appeared in shock. Some even picked up the phone. At a stop later on, a parent even talked with the driver about what happened. Is she all right? There's kindergartners on this bus. Lauren Thomason's fourth grader was on the bus that day. He was shaking in tears, hysterical, and he just said, the bus driver, the bus driver, he, he hit the brakes and I hit my head and um, my buddy, he's bleeding. Thomason says she quickly heard from other parents whose kids had similar stories. So she reached out to the district. Every parent's like, I'm going to turn this car around or don't make me hit the brakes. You don't actually do it because you know that that could hurt your, your child or any child. After investigating, Douglas County Schools fired Fitzgerald, who was hired as a driver in the fall. In a statement, a spokesperson said the video is incredibly difficult to watch. Riding a bus to and from school should be a happy, enjoyable experience for students. The behavior and actions of this bus driver are completely unacceptable. Fitzgerald is also now facing criminal charges. They're children on a bus. Thomason is happy with the response but now has bigger questions. We're really short in support staff. So are we just desperate now? Are we lowering our standards? Are we not really doing the background checks? Connor McHugh reporting for us. Connor wants to know what is happening in Douglas County, so send him your story ideas through cbscolorado.com. You can always call him at 303-863-TIPS. Now to dinner.